Hey guys, how you doing? Today I'm going to explain to you that if it wasn't for the Nazi party and World War II, none of us today would know about the Beatles, the, the band, the Beatles, the British rock group, the Beatles. What, what are you talking about? What do they got to do with how is that related to, uh, how is the Nazi party in World War II related to rock music? Okay. Before World War II, in the 1930s, people were very um, strict. People were very religious. Anybody that looked different would be shunned. If you had long hair in the 1930s, people would say, what's the matter with you? What do you want to look like a girl for? What did you do? Just come out of the woods? I should kick your ass. See, well, okay, what does that got to do with uh, World War II? After World War II, when the Nazis, Germany, lost the war, everyone thought... And the Nazis wouldn't like the Beatles. The Nazis were like the opposite, okay? After the war, when they lost, there was a sort of like a backlash, a very big back backlash. And the Beatles were a band that was in Germany, you know, in the, I think in the late 1950s, you know. Germany became very liberal and open allowing stuff like that to happen like um, they wanted Germany wanted to be to prove that um, they were not fascists and so they were open to practically anything and in and, and the whole world the United States and Europe and all over the place they, they you know fascism is a failure you can't be like that so it opened the door for this, for these mop-haired, you know, super liberal, <laughs> anything free love, you know, take drugs society. It was like, well, let's let's do the opposite. Let's be the opposite of the Nazis. Okay, so. If world, if the Nazi Party would have never happened in World War II, and there were the Beatles wanted to, you know, they played the same kind of music. They, they every they would be shunned because that that mentality of the 1920s and 30s would still would have still been there in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, maybe even today. You couldn't you couldn't cohabitate with a girl. I talked to my parents and uncle. I have uncles that were in World War II. I know old timers. I grew up around old timers. You couldn't um, stay overnight in a woman's apartment. It was against the law to spend the night with the opposite sex. You would be arrested. In the 1950s, even in the night, well, probably in the late 40s, it was. They were still like that. It, there were very strict rules. So, and the Beatles are all, their music is all about like free love and hey man, let's, uh, and the way they looked and the, and the music is, they would consider that black music. Blacks were shunned. They had their own um, society and their own part of town in, in the 1930s. So, the, the failure of the Nazis and uh, the end of World War II, World War II is what they owe their, the Beatles owe their success to. They, if it wouldn't have been for the Nazi movement, the Beatles would be some obscure band that none of us today would have ever heard of. They were there at the right time. Timing was on their side big time like it was so 
Yeah, yeah, they're talented. Yeah, you know, some of the music is good. I personally don't. I think it's care for them that much. It's it's too much of a a, a social a social message for me. I I rather, you know, I'm more into instrumental. You know, they're pretty good at that, but. They're they're more uh, wishy-washy, sort of lovey-dovey, you know, that, for my taste. But uh, yeah, so you Beatles fans, <laughs> if it wasn't for Adolf Hitler and World War II, none of you would know about John Lennon. Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, you would have never heard of them. Even if they would have, you know, been making music, tried to come out with that kind of music, that would have never happened. Because they would have been rejected. They owe their success to Adolf Hitler. Yeah. It's ironic, isn't it? Just, uh, you know, something I thought I'd put out there for people to think about all right i'm drift with george i'll see you next time with another motivating inspiring chat on any subject just about on earth <laughs>